Hello and welcome to another FS19 mod review. This time we're looking at these John Deere 3050, 3350 and 3650 tractors. Now I'm not sure if I've got the original link to these or not, so if it's not, if the um, creator can actually send it to me I will change it in the link below. But as for the tractors themselves, well these are very nice tractors. They've only got a front linkage option, so it's not a weights option there. But they're nicely detailed and nicely textured. So right down to the axle platings there. Decals there's a little bit um, out of line there with the 3050 bit. But other than that they look good. The lights look good in there. And this one's the 3050 with lowered on standard trolley board tires. Everything's attached where it should be and looks to have the new textures. Okay, the back wheels are slightly off centre there. Not the end of the world. Probably a few more spill valves than they should have on the back there, to be fair. Considerably more. And slightly wrongly laid out, but uh, other than that, not a problem. Then move on to the 3350 with dual wheels all round and one beacon the difference between these two as well we've got different exhaust on that one to this one There's two exhaust options at the end here we've got the 3650 so these are some very nice tractors see everything hooks up and they seem to have dynamic hoses as well but we'll have a look at the 3050 in that respect so that's the one without anything on currently. So light wise we have our front lights, rear work lights and rear lights there, and front work lights. Indicators all work. No beacon to test on this one obviously, and no problem with the loader or the hose as it should do. So these do have custom sounds on them. Sound there. You have to give them a few seconds just to settle themselves down before the uh, sounds come to life from them. So there's one issue with the sounds. The hair wants to go forwards with it. Try this out. No problem with dynamic hose connections there. Do seem to have a floating part down the bottom there with this hooked on. Gear change. They seem to have a turbo wind down sound, which should be incorrect on 30 and 3350s. Looking inside them, all nicely laid out and textured. See, build the control in there. Dashboard read speed okay down there. And lights up when you turn the lights on. So very nicely done. Gear levers move as well as you can see. And the brake pedals and the accelerator. There's a nice working pedals on it. Nathan to thank for sending these to me and tell me where they were. So we'll try the beacons on this one. Good beacons work. See the front linkage is connected okay in there for the weights. Just tips them back slightly. Got seat suspension there as well. They seem a bit quiet these tractors. Obviously four for a would be more suited to this one in real life, but uh, unfortunately uh, there's too much horsepower. There's 
what this can get the hill we need to be. Time this track we did with the last one I've done a review of. See the hand goes to change gear as well as we do it. This is a nice touch. Maybe if we put the hazards on, we've got the flashing lights there on the dashboard. So a lot of features here. So let's have a look at this one in the shop now. So it is under small tractors, I believe. So here we go. Starts as a 3050. She comes with Trelleborg standard. Wides, which I haven't actually put on any of them. Which don't look too bad. I just thought it looked better on the standard ones. Narrow tower option. Which again, it doesn't actually look too bad on, to be fair. Rare twins. Rare narrow twins, all round twins, and back to standard. Then we've got Trelleborg, uh, sorry, Nokian uh, com communal tars as well. So decent sized ones on there. No other tar options. Then we've got no beacon, one or two beacons, normal exhaust, or the straight pipe there. GPS we ain't gonna worry about that as that's a mod. Got 3050, 3350 and 3650. And yes or no to front loader, which is the stall one. Did try the other on it, but it doesn't quite look right. So there we go, that's our 3050 series days. So say if it's not the correct link below, please do send the right one try to go with what I can use for now but for now that's where I'm going to leave this video so I'll say thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in the next one goodbye for now